It is now time for member statements. I recognize the member for Waterloo. Thank you very much. How do you begin to process the discovery of 215 Indigenous children's bodies on the site of a former residential school? Our colleague MPP Mamako said this yesterday, and I quote, all Indigenous peoples living today in Canada are survivors of Canada's tools of genocide. We are survivors of Indian residential schools, survivors of the Indian Act, survivors of the 60s scoop, and survivors of ongoing systemic racism which attempts to erase us, but we are still here. The death of our children is a crime against humanity, but Canada has never treated it as such. Cindy Blackstock said this, as Canadians learn about the story of the tragic deaths of 215 children in the residential schools in Kamloops, know this, Canada knew about the death rates in the schools, had tools to deal with it, and chose not to. In 1907, Canada's Chief Medical Officer of Health, Dr. Bryce, raised the alarm about death rates of 25% of children in schools per year due to inequitable health care, poor health practices, and a lack of ventilation. He was pushed out of the public service because of his advocacy. The last residential school closed in 1996, but Canada kept fighting the kids. Feds were ordered to cease their discriminatory conduct in 2016 as it was causing unnecessary family separations, harms, and the deaths of children. Canada did not. Canadian Human Rights Tribunal ordered Canada to pay for its willful and reckless discrimination. Canada appealed. All levels of government need to provide the funding to ensure that all children are found and act on all 94 recommendations of the Truth and Reconciliation Commission to do otherwise denies truth and denies justice. Thank you. Thank you.